Well, today is Black Eyed Susan Day, kicking off the 148th Preakness Stakes weekend, and it is a big weekend for racing fans, but also the horses themselves. Yes, Alexis Davila joins us live at Pimlico Racecourse. Good morning, Alexis. Good morning. It's, exci it's an exciting morning, especially right now. We were seeing our, one of our front runners get a little little <laughs> bath right now this morning. Of everyone so eager to go see that, and we want to talk about what it means to like take care of horses and whatnot. Yeah. So I'm here with Dr. Benson, who could tell us a little bit more what it's like to take care of thoroughbred horses. So they're a full-time job. These horses from four in the morning until all well, and often all night. Especially these horses have someone watching them, someone taking care of them. Um, they wake up really early, as you know. They've been up since probably four this morning. Um, get a really early breakfast, and then they start stretching their legs. Get some. They get brushed and groomed so that they're all clean and, and shiny to go out to the track. And then after that, they go and walk for a little more, warm up, and then they'll go out to the track and gallop or jog a couple miles, and then they come back and get their baths. Let's, I mean, let's talk about the exercise regimen that they do have to go through to prepare for this race. Yeah, so, I mean, these, these horses basically train six days a week, just like a human athlete. So they'll take one day off where they get to walk and stretch their legs and kind of have an easy day, but they will gallop almost every day of the week and then once every seven to ten days they will do a high speed exercise just to make sure they are tip top shape and they are some of the the strongest cardiovascular athletes you will find wow and you said you were referring to just like human athletes we have to incorporate the diet what's yeah. it like for the horse's diet so they have a little different diet than probably the human athletes <laughs> but they have food in front of them every minute of the day so they get usually fed grain many pounds of grain three times a day and then they will get um, a lot of hay and alfalfa and then most of the trainers will uh, kick in a healthy dose of treats like peppermints and apples and carrots and sweet potatoes. Now, horse health and horse safety is so vital and very important. We very much want to make sure we're taking care of all of our horses that are competing. What, what's the key elements for a happy and healthy horse? Yeah. I think that you have a whole team behind each, each of these horses, between their trainers, their exercise riders, their grooms, the owners, the veterinarians that work for the trainers, our, our veterinarians. So really, it's, we are all making sure these horses are in tip-top shape. Perfect. Thank you so much Thanks. for talking to us. We appreciate that you're here, able to be a part of the team that helped them out at any time when it's needed. But thank you so much to Dr. Benson, and I'm going to send it right back to you guys in studio.